Hi guys, my name is Kat, I'm a California CPA and in this video I'll show you how to enter capital gains in ATX tax software. Let's start. Uh, so it's not pretty straightforward to be honest how to enter capital gains. So usually what I do, I go to capital gain, um, I'm sorry, form 1040 for our summary of the tax return and then under cap, uh, line 7 capital gains, I just go to jump to link fields and it take me to capital gain and losses. And from here, it's like we just can enter information here and that's it. So basically I go to line one B, also jump to entry. That takes me to form 8949. And then from here, we can also jump to entry and kind of like go here and start with entry in description, which is like, let's say we do E-trade, uh, like, E trade because let's say we have a transaction type uh, that usually let's say wash sales collectible business gain and loss wash sales must be entered and we enter uh, so I don't let's let's see what does they have like if you have a wash sale we enter it here or blank if it's nothing really date acquired let's say january 1st 2021 20, date sold if it's a short term or long term as in whatever code we have on 1099b proceeds costs and uh, let's see if there is anything else we have here we can enter i mean usually we don't have that kind of stuff and and for each summary or transaction we have to add a new record or delete a record so let's go to schedule d and see how it looks uh so that's if you want to if you need to if you're required to enter information on form i'm sorry on form 8949 so that's where it actually gets entered and usually we do so i think that's super helpful if you don't we can just enter it here proceeds costs and things like that and the same of i mean for long term you can just uh let's see where is that entry oh here you go there is input here page one 89 49 we have input and we can just enter all the things here if you go and schedule d there is also like information we can enter here like carryovers and things like that amt carryovers um i'm trying to see what else is helpful here 1250 gain carryovers so they all entered in here and eventually if you enter like i don't know like depends if you do enter a summary you do need to attach pdf attachments at eventually so in order to attach pdf uh, you have to go to, um, one second, I think it was like somewhere right here. So in order to attach the forum, we go to e-file, attach PDF, and here it gives us all the choices to what we can attach PDF. And so for form 8949, we go to 8949 exceptional reporting, and we can just choose the file and attach it. Uh, yeah, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye. I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website, remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.